One question we get asked a lot when setting up a generative AI chatbot is how can I test to see how my chatbot will respond to common questions? So here in our knowledge base where we've got a file based knowledge base, we've got this option to run a test suite of the common questions we might get asked. So I'm going to run a new test run. We can create these questions from scratch, but what we can do is use our AI Insights report, which to refresh looks a bit like this. So this gives you your most commonly asked questions. And if we click on this, we can choose which one of our previous uh, Insight reports we want to use to generate the questions. And this will give us all of these questions here, and then we can then uh, adapt these or delete these if we want. And this will create our test suite. Now I'm going to go back and instead, rather than the brand new report, I'm going to rerun a previous knowledge base test. And this is one I did yesterday. And again, we're able to add questions, remove them, change them. But these have all been taken from actual questions that our customers have been asking. We can then you choose the language model that we want to answer these questions. And then we're going to start the test run. And what this is going to do is give us the answer, if one is available, um, to the question based on the knowledge base. So here we can say, we, here we can see that the AI was able to answer all of these questions and, and these are the answers. Um, however, it was not able to answer these questions, so these are things maybe we need to add to the knowledge base. And what this really allows us to do is speed up the whole process of testing uh, for the chatbot. We can also save some notes and what we can do is review other previous test runs. So if I want to look at how it answered things yesterday, I can do so here. And the advantage of this is if you then change the knowledge base, rather than going into your chatbot and manually asking all these questions, you can just run a test suite and get a complete set of answers. And this should really give you some confidence about how the chatbot is going to be answering questions um, and because it's got those 20 most common questions, you can really speed up your deployment and testing process.